Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Again, today I'm not here, so let's do uh, another review. Now, today is kind of different because I figured like, I always do regular cigar reviews, and one thing I haven't done with you guys is infuse cigars. Now, I have this jar. Uh, what happened is I usually have all the uh, infused cigars in there, and usually those, these are like given to me. I don't buy them, so. But they smell so good. If you have these acrylic jars, they're like perfect, perfect for infused cigars because they make smell so good. Uh, you can put any infused cigar in there, ex for the exception, don't put, don't put the KFCs in here. All right, <laughs> don't put the KFCs in there. It's gonna smell like barbecue chocolate at the same time. It's gonna be weird. But yeah, all the coffee chocolate ones I put in this one, uh, and. I look through it, I, I, I try to figure out which one I want to do because I have like Tabac here and I have Knob Cafe here and then I have like, I don't know, um, Acids here and stuff. So I, I just figure it's like, should I do a long one? Should I do a short one? But you make the time fit. Um, I pick out two Cigarello that's in here and uh, one is a little bit fatter than the other but one of them is the Drew Estate Acid, I believe. Acid Crush Classic, and because this is purple, it doesn't have a name on it, but because it's purple, I think this is the Maduro one, uh, Maduro, it was a Madonna, Maduro, something like that, something like that, and the other hand is the Knob Cafe Espresso, Espresso, so let's compare these two, which one is more infused or tastes better, alright, let's get started. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make Okay, so we start out with this acid, okay? So I don't really sm smoke acid cigars Only because uh, I... Uh, number one is I don't like infused cigars That's one And number two is Acid cigar always always smells like incense. This one, this one smells like incense plus salon pass. If you don't know what salon pass is, uh, it's one of those tape that you tape on your shoulder that kind of cools down. It has like a little menthol and like patchouli, whatever that thing's called, the incense flavor. Uh, uh, smells to it. That's how it smells like. Yeah, that, that, that's how it smells like. See, this is one that I don't like because I don't want to smoke incense. And it could be cultural too because, uh, you know, incense for dead people. So smoking uh, incense is kind of like saying I'm dead, but it's not, right? So anyway, I light this up. Dry drop, oh, super sweet, <laughs> super sweet. They still have that incense taste, but it's sweet. It's sweet. It's manageable. Let's try it. Absolutely tastes like, oh my God, tastes like so much. Ah, uh, this is so bad. I'm tasting instant. If tomorrow I was to buy uh, a batch of incense to burn and whatever like you know you can call it passion can call it whatever that's how it tastes like plus the very artificial sweetness to it that's how it tastes like to me oh, it tastes like it tastes like a diabetic man walking around with incense on his hand that's how it tastes like. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I did not like it. I don't like this kind of artificial taste. Yeah, all I taste is instant. All I taste is instant. It does taste a little bit like a Nicaraguan tobacco because it has a little bit of roasted dark notes to it at the end of it. After you get over that, that instant taste. Pacholi. P-A-T-C-H-O-U-L-I. 
I think that's what it tastes like. That's what it tastes like. So whenever I had a, a instant that that ha has that patchouli thing in, in there, that's how it tastes like. This is how this tastes like. Patchouli. Pa patchouli? Patchouli. Mm. It's hard to continue. I know this is going to be a short video because I did not like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bob, I don't know how you can like this, because I know Bob like acid, but this thing, I think I had to add one more cigar because I can't continue with this one. This one is one of those ones that you can punt because, oh my God, I, I can put this on the side as an instant. That's, that's how I'm going to keep it, just like that. There you go. The room will smell great, not my mouth. Oh. All right, let's go with this one. Nap Cafe at Espresso. Smells like espresso. More like cocoa though. More cocoa than espresso. Like hot cocoa with a little hint of espresso. So mocha, I guess. All right, cut a line for this. I mean, these things are so dry, the cap doesn't do well. All right, here we go. Well, it's not so dry. I mean, like when you cut it, the thing is all wrinkled. So when you cut it, it doesn't do, I'll always do that well. But then the cap doesn't, it's like last thing you have to worry about on this thing because it's so tiny anyway. Tie draw, very tie draw. Gotta squeeze it a little bit. I also have a little bit of those artificial sweetener thing in there. Very hard draw. This is very tight. Very tight. And I have S cut too. So I mean, not, yeah, straight cut too. So this is as, as loose as it's got to get. I do taste the artificial espresso. But it's one of those like espresso know that lack that the acid to pour part of it. It's missing the sourness, that um, the the citrusiness, the sourness uh, of the fermentiness to the espresso. But you can taste the espresso. Yeah, you can taste it in the high note. First, you get a lot of nothingness in the smoke. Then, when you're nearly the end, you kind of taste it, almost like. Uh, Eating something with some espresso powder on top, so you get a little bit of espresso. Yep, you get espresso. And you get a little bit of that sweetness, the artificial ones, but it converts to the bitterness at the end. This one is slightly better than the acid because uh, it doesn't have that weird sweetness to it, that a lot of nothingness, a lot of things that you tend to smell rather than taste, okay? The instant taste in these acid are like, they're meant for smell, they're not meant for tasting. So when you taste it, it feels like you just took a bunch of those instant and eat it down, you know? It's just kind of weird. At least for me, it's not my thing. This one, a uh, little bit okay, but You'll rarely see me smoke this. You'll rarely see me. Like literally, it will have to be some reason like because I'm recording a video just to smoke this because this thing doesn't taste good to me. Doesn't taste good to me. But if you're looking for espresso taste, that's in here. You can find that. But I feel like that you get more authentic, authentic espresso dark roasting taste in a good regular cigar versus this because this is like very artificial. Yeah, very often. It feels like a syrup or a powder or something like that. That kind of espresso. But when you actually go out and buy a shot of espresso, they taste kind of different. You get the smell. So in this one, you taste the smell of actual espresso. But actual espresso tastes much better than the smell. So I don't know. That it's hard to explain unless you are espresso drinker. Then you'll be like, you're like, you know, the creaminess, the, the, um, the uh, 
the the notes that's in the espresso is more complex than just like hey that's espresso you know the 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 crema uh the the oil in the uh in the shot is actually very different they they have texture they have different notes to it not rather than just this one very one dimensional taste very one dimensional taste yeah way one dimensional so i'm gonna put this down too i'm gonna put this down too so what else do I have here? Okay, I have in this bag. This is where the KFCs are. So I'm, I'll smoke this KFC as well. I have a small KFC here. This is uh, the cigarillo for the Kentucky Fire Cure Muwa. Also, relatively the same size. One of those small ones. All right, it smells like firewood. It smells like almost one of those like smoking firewood that you use to smoke uh, like you know bacon or barbecue. Uh, what do they call those? Um, try to find the right word for it. So like mystique, mis mystique. Uh, Wood, wood I don't know it's it's like a very nice firewood smell like it's it's you can tell it's been aged it's been dated it's uh it's been uh what they call seasoned uh for a while it's kind of really nice smell better than the acid smell draw is great draw is there Okay. Has a little bit of sweet tip to it. Because I taste sweet. The small one. I smoked the big one before. It smelled like firewood. This one. Don't get mad, but it tastes like grandpa's old cabinet. Grandpa's old cabinet. But much more acceptable than those two. <laughs> At least this just tastes like wood, woodsiness. So, you know, for something like this to taste woodsiness is actually quite normal, right? Um, it's totally doable, in my opinion. Uh, it's not as bad as the very artificial. This one feels like... Uh, a dated smoke right it has that woodsiness it has that little bit of old wood taste um i didn't like sweet cap so that sweet cap doesn't do anything but at least this thing tastes closer to a wood note than those right these two uh too sweet too artificial uh and this one is much more acceptable it's much more acceptable in terms of flavor, how it tastes supposed to be like, and um, smokeability. Draw is great. It has a little bit of pepperiness too. Yeah, it's more natural. It tastes more like a, a cigar, all right? It tastes more like a cigar, closer to a normal cigar than those two. And if you ask me which I enjoy more, I enjoy this one more. So I'm gonna smoke this down a little bit more. We'll see. Right. Didn't like these. Now, you might like these because you might like a certain taste, certain uh, different notes to these tastes. You might be an entry level and you'll go like, I, I just want to taste something. I just don't like the tobacco taste. And I really, really, really do recommend that. If you start this for the very first time, if you're just looking for, for cigars to smoke because you're entry level, don't smoke infused cigars. Infused cigar would skew your expectation of the notes and what you smell when you pick up notes from cigar they are not like 
this kind of obvious to your face sweet as hell it doesn't happen a natural sweet note is actually really nice sweet it's not it's nothing like these sweet caps it's not the same okay it is not the same and when you do these infused cigars you are taking away the ability to tell the notes from an actual good cigar the best way is to practice on a really normal cigar and then work your way up to tell the difference right to, you know basically eat salt to taste salt don't eat artificial stuff to taste the artificial stuff it's just like grape never tastes like grape syrup right grape doesn't taste like grape syrup cherry doesn't taste like cherry syrup cherry syrup tastes like medicine and cherry itself tastes nothing like cherry syrup so uh, basically you, you wanted to kind of get away from the easy way you know it's a it's a path it's a journey to to learn all about all these different notes like a chef be able to have a palate chef had to eat a lot of different things to learn those palates you know, when you blindfold you know what this tastes like because they eat a lot now for you to be able to tell the notes from cigar you have to smoke a lot of different smoke don't do the artificial stuff because they are just tricking your taste bud with whatever chemical that they have probably not that good for you either because that's the, you know it's literally a chemical that has that taste so even if it's natural even it's natural, uh, just, just not that good of a choice. To smoke something, do it the right way, smoke an actual smoke, smoke non-infused, you will have so much better time uh, learning, experimenting, uh, trying different strain, trying different things so that you are not going with these uh, sugar-coated tastes. Literally, sugar-coated. Right? You will get the actual good taste you'll get the actual enjoyment you'll actually know what to expect from cigars to cigars you know when you do a maduro cigars when you do a habano cigar when you do a connecticut cigar they all have its own characteristic but once you put these infused taste in there it kills it it kills it completely it's like would you buy a lamborghini that is only um it's actually a bicycle but it looks like a Lamborghini, you wouldn't want to. You want a Lamborghini, right? So when you buy a cigar like this, you're smoking a cigar, yeah, but you're not smoking a cigar for the sake of a cigar. You're smoking a cigar for the sake of that taste that didn't exist, right? You are not getting what you want. You are not getting what you need. You are not getting the ones that where you look over and say, like, that guy's smoking something nice and he's really enjoying it because he knows what he's doing. These cigars uh, might, be, might be a fine cigar. It might be a fine cigar, but it's definitely not the best cigar. Okay, uh, you don't you don't want to go down that rabbit hole. You want to train your palate with the real thing. You know, like beer, like beer. You you gotta hate it at first, and then you learn to enjoy it after. These you might like it now, but when it's just like when you're drinking Corona. And somebody say have one of these real beer and you're like oh, what have I been drinking yeah so do it that way but again it's your cigar you smoke it what you want but I don't like, like this infused cigar all three of them I cannot continue like you know, I cannot handle that taste in my mouth it's just not it's very artificial it's not good for me so I'm not gonna continue smoking them so I hope you enjoy this very 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 short video I don't even think I have to cut this I just just <laughs> release as is enjoy your day have fun behave choose a good cigar to smoke and I'll see you guys next time bye